Hi everyone, uh, this is Fisher Coder here. Today we're going through lead code problem 1108, defanging an IP address. Before we dive in, please do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is dedicated to provide good, high quality lead code tutorials to help fellow software engineers or uh, recent CS graduates or CS students to prepare for software engineering coding interviews. Okay, with that said, please um, let's dive deep into this problem. The problem goes like this. Given a valid IPv4 address, return a DFAN version of that IP address. What does a DFAN IP address mean? It basically replaces every period with square brackets and period and close square bracket. That's it. As simple as that. There are two examples. One example is one period, one period, one period, one. And we basically replay, replaced all of the single period with, with single period in between and closed by square brackets. That's it. You see one square, bra square brackets, period. One square brackets, period. One square brackets, period. One. That's it. The same applies to the second example but it's just a different IP, uh, IPv4 address, 255, period, 100, period, 50, period, zero. We're doing the same thing, replace um, period with square brackets and period. And constraint is that it's basically simplifying the problem. The given address is always a valid IPv4 address. That's it. Um, there are multiple ways to, uh, to tackle this problem, of course. The, uh, that there are multiple simplest ways that I could think of. Um, first is that basically this is a string. We're given a string. We can use a for loop to go through every single character in the string. And when, whenever we encounter a period, we're just going to replace that with, with square brackets and period. That's one way. Another or more concise or elegant way is to just use Java string operation. I'm sure in other languages, there are other building language APIs to help you to do that. But in Java, we can either use replace or replace all to take care of this. Very simple. So um, we're just going to demo the two simplest or more elegant way to uh, do this, which is to just use uh, Java string APIs, which we're going to do here. String, let me copy this word, ad address. Since this is a string, we can just use replace. Um, replace is just going to take a target string with a destination string. That's it. This is going to do the magic. Replace is going to um, replace all of the periods are replaced by the target. The target string is square brackets and period. All right, let's submit. It's accepted. Um, this is one way of doing the string replacement. The other way is we can do uh, replace all. The difference between replace and replace all is that replace uh, replace is only going to take two strings. So the first one is the target string that we're trying to match in the in this string, and the second is also a string, which is which is going to be the substitution. However, replace all will be taking a regex regular expression, and then here is going going to be the target substitution. So in that case, we need to escape. It's going to match all of the uh, all of the characters that matches this regex, which means we need to escape it. This is also going to work, I believe. All right, it's also accepted. And these are the two ways of very simple one-liner to solve this problem. Of course, there is one more way, which is to have a for loop to go through every single character of this given string. When, whenever we encounter a period, we just replace it, substitute it with square brackets and period. That's also another way. Um, but we'll just uh, uh, let you guys finish that route as well as a practice. Uh, this is a very simple and straightforward question. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you would like me to go through any problems that always puzzles you, please leave me comments below. I really appreciate it. Again, please do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to uh, help with the YouTube algorithm a lot. And also don't forget to subscribe our channel as we publish lead code tutorials and data structure and algorithms 
or very um, practical CS fundamentals on the databases. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.